In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the sort function in Google Sheets so that you can sort your data with a formula. So let's go over a really basic example where we're simply sorting a list of names, which is just a single column. So here in column A, we have unsorted names. And in column C, we're going to use the sort formula to sort the names from column A. So here in cell C3, I'm going to type equals sort parentheses A3 colon A comma one comma true. And then I'm going to press enter. And as you can see, now the names are sorted alphabetically, starting with Bill, going through B, D, G, all the way up. So let's go over the different components of this formula. Here where we've specified A3 colon A, that's the range of data that we're sorting with the formula, which again, in this case, is just a single column. Then we type a comma, and then we specify which column that we're sorting by. Again, we're only sorting by one column, and so we're going to sort by the first column in this example. Then we type another comma, and then we can specify which order that we want to sort the data in, either ascending order or descending order. When we put true for this option, that means we're sorting in ascending order. If we put false, that would mean that we want to sort in descending order. So here, now that we've specified false, you can see that the sort order has reversed. Now, if you just want to sort by the first column in ascending order with the sort function, technically, you don't even have to specify the options. We can simply put the formula sort A3 through A and then press enter and the formula would still work. And so by default, if you don't specify any of the criteria for the formula, Google Sheets will sort by the first column in ascending order. Now let's go over another example, but here we're going to sort two columns of data and we're going to sort by the second column in ascending order. So here in cell D3, I'm going to type equals sort parentheses A3 colon B because I want to sort both columns A and B. Then I'm going to type a comma and then the number two because I want to sort by the second column, which are the grades. Then I'm going to type a comma and then I'm going to type true because I want to sort in ascending order. And I'm going to press enter. And now my student grades are sorted by grade, starting at the lowest grade and going to the highest as the rows go downwards. Now, if you want to, instead of specifying a column number, you can simply specify the range of the column that you want to sort by. And so I'm going to type a formula that does the exact same thing as what we just did, but it's going to be done in a different way. Again, instead of specifying a column number, I'm going to specify a range. So I'm going to type equals sort parentheses a3 colon b. Again, I want to sort columns A and B, and this is the same source range that we used in the last example, but here I'm going to type comma, and instead of specifying a column number, I'm going to type B3 colon B. Now I'm going to type comma, and then type true, and then press enter, and as you can see, the formula is doing the same exact thing, but instead of specifying the number two, up here, where I've typed B3 colon B, I've specified the range, which again is B3 colon B. So in this example, we're going to add more criteria to the sort formula. Not only can you specify which column that you want to sort by, but you can continue specifying additional columns that you want to sort by after the formula has sorted by the first column, which is the column that's given the most priority. And so I'll show you an example of this here. We're going to sort columns A and B, but we're going to sort by column two, and then we're going to sort 
by column one. And so what this means is that the formula is first going to take the class as the priority to sort by, but then if there are any duplicates, such as English, 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 when these are stacked together, Google Sheets will then sort the secondary column, which again is going to be the first column or column A. So first we're going to sort by class, and then within each class, the data will be sorted by student name. And this will become more clear in just a second here. So I'm going to type equals sort parentheses A3 colon B, the same source range that we've used in the last couple examples. But now I'm going to type comma two comma true. So I'm specifying that the first column that I want to sort by, or the column with the highest priority of sorting, is column two. And I want to sort in ascending order. But to specify additional columns, we simply type another comma and then specify the next column, which in this case is column one, and then type a comma and then specify the sort order again. So I'm going to press enter, and now my data is sorted by class first, and then within each class, it's sorted by name. And so here we have the English class, there's four different entries, and if we come over to the student name column, the student names are organized alphabetically, but only within each class because the priority column is the first one that we specified, which is the class column. And the sort order that you specify doesn't have to be the same for each one. If we want, we can sort one in descending order and the other in ascending order. And so here, now that I've made the change, we're sorting column two in descending order, but then column one in ascending order. So we've sorted text and numbers, but it's good to know that the sort function can also sort dates. So here in column A, we have a series of dates that are not in order, and we're going to sort them in column C. So I'm going to type equals sort parentheses a3 colon a, and then press enter. And now the dates are sorted by date. So you might have a time where you'll need to sort data horizontally. And this can be done with the sort function, but you have to use the transpose function along with the sort function to do this. And I'll show you how to do this right here. So here in row one, again, we have a series of dates that are not in order and we want to sort them with the sort function. So first, what we need to do is use the transpose function to turn the row into a column because the sort function works with columns. So I'm going to type equals transpose parentheses b1 colon o1 because remember, I'm specifying a row. Now I'm going to press enter. And as you can see, Google Sheets has turned the row into a column. And so now we can use the sort function to sort this column. So I'm going to drag my cursor into the formula bar so that I can edit my formula. And I'm going to click my mouse right between the equal sign and the transpose function. Now I'm going to type sort, and then type a parentheses, and then I'm going to press enter. Now row one is transposed and sorted. First, the transpose function is turning the row into a column, and then the sort function sorts the result of the transpose function. And so here you can see that the dates are sorted in a column. Now, when we use multiple formulas like this, we call it a nested function. The transpose function is nested inside of the sort function, or you can also say that the sort function is wrapped around the transpose function. But 
if we want these sorted results to display in a row, we have to use the transpose function again. And so what we're going to do is click the mouse right after the equal sign and then type transpose and then type a parentheses and press enter. And so again, what this formula is doing is using the transpose function to turn row one into a column. Then we're sorting that column and then we're using the transpose function again to turn the column back into a row. So I hope you like this video. If you do, please like and subscribe. And if you want to read the article version of this video, I've linked the article below.